Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. So the GPU market likely will have a significant crash. If you think prices are low now, if you think the GPU market has already crashed, well, you really haven't seen anything yet. There's one major event coming up in September that could be the absolute extinction event for GPUs as we know it, at least for several months. And of course, I'm talking about Ethereum going proof of stake from proof of work. Basically, it means now people can mine ethereum quite profitably by the way that's why people have bought these gpus in massive amounts that we've never seen before even during the last bull run that we had during 2017 2018 so it's been quite historic yes nvidia will say there are other factors gamers stayed home and bought a lot of gpus but 99 percent of that is kind of just really you know not being very transparent at all it's very clear that cryptocurrency mining profits from gpus use have been one of the biggest biggest motivators for gpu sales who's to say when somebody buys a bunch of gpus if they're a gamer or if they're going to use it for cryptocurrency mining i know stores don't typically ask you be it online or even in person so it's really something that nvidia kind of hit behind priced pretty good is a windows cd key today's video sponsor is going to be vip-cdkdeals.com very simple process you can get a windows 10 pro cd key and remove it to you use code CC20 for a nice discount. But now, since the beginning of the year, as there has definitely been a decline in cryptocurrency mining, specifically Ethereum, we can see that Nvidia really was bluffing with their hand of cards. Since the beginning of the year, there's been intense speculation as well as a great decline in sort of the demand for cryptocurrency mining GPUs. I mean, you could look at a few months ago when prices first went down a pretty large amount. That's when everything started going down in terms of the GPU market. Of course, there was a gaming demand probably higher than normal because of, you know, all, of, all the lockdowns and everything that we had during the last two years, but they certainly do not account for the massive amount of GPUs that were sold to cryptocurrency miners. And as soon as people stopped buying we're not even talking about a huge market crash or sell-off at this point from several months ago people just stopped buying as many that's the only thing that happened you started to see a lot of gpus in stock um, still at high prices and after people weren't buying even more and started to sell a little bit and by people i mean some gamers but a lot of maybe hobby cryptocurrency miners you started seeing the prices really go down quite fast after a while take the 3090 ti for example that gpu just came out this year that's supposed to be a really high-end GPU that any gamer would be lucky to have. You would think that something like that would be hard to get. It'd be something really sought after. But what happened, even in the beginning, it was basically in stock the entire time. Price was way too high. We're talking about a 1999 MSRP. Some of them were well over 2000 when they came out. But the timing was absolutely terrible. Sure, some gamers bought them. But in general, cryptocurrency miners didn't buy them at all because the market was in decline as well as they're just a little bit too expensive for what you're going to get in the short amount of time that people think Ethereum will be around. So look forward a few months. They were discounted at one point up to $1,000 from their original price. Does that sound like a high-end GPU that gamers really want that's discounted that much within a few months? I mean, look at the last several years. Not only were GPUs not discounted at all, even during Black Friday, you had to pay a substantial premium for them. Look at like an RTX 30. 80. If you got one at Best Buy, Founders Edition, $699. But most people couldn't do that. So you would have to go on the secondhand market. At some point, like May of 2021, I remember them going for over $2,000 on the secondhand friendly neighborhood scalper market. And then, of course, the third party AIBs and NVIDIA quickly caught on to that pricing. And they figured, why are we going to let your average scalper get such a huge markup on these GPUs when they have to sell them at retail? So they started to up the price. The first major event was the release of the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. They didn't have an MSRP, but the third party AIBs such as EVGA and Asus, they sold them for well over $1,200, in some cases even upwards of $1,500 for a 3080 12 gigabyte. So officially there wasn't a price increase on the original 3080, 
but the new one was only available for a much higher price and because of the time that it came out last year yes it did sell a lot at that really highly inflated price of course nothing wrong with the gpu itself aside from the price i mean it does have two more gigabytes of vram compared to the original 3080 so more cuda cores in all sense of the word it is a better gpu but is it really something you should be paying five hundred dollars more or even you know seven to eight hundred dollars more in some cases like the asus strix at one point i really don't think that should be happening that should have put you in a completely different class of gpu that's when you go up from a 3080 to probably a 3090 honestly i mean 1500 was the msrp of a 3090 so now we see that the prices have gone down a lot but trust me this is not a market crash yet most gpu prices are still fairly high even on the amd side it's not only nvidia while the really high-end gpus did go down a significant amount you can get a 3090 ti for closer to that like 1200 dollars mark that's still way too high when people are waiting for rtx 4000 the major event here is not just the release of rtx 4000 which of course is going to have a pretty big impact as well on the current rtx x3000 pricing that's going to be around the middle of september ethereum is finally going to go proof of stake at least that's what they're intending to do now keep in mind they've changed many times there's been delay after delay so possible they could find something out last minute but this is the first time they kind of set a tentative date so very possible that something could happen also possible that it could change and things could keep going now i bet if we saw another boom in cryptocurrency mining you would see these gpus shoot right back up in price and and they would be highly unavailable like it was before but if ethereum indeed does go proof of stake i mean some people will switch to other coins that may not really be profitable at all because it's way too many people switching at once at least for the next several months you're going to see a mass exodus from the cryptocurrency mining space and that means a huge influx of used gpus on the secondhand market this isn't even counting the brand new gpus that then nobody will buy and they're going to not produce as many it doesn't matter if it's our rtx 3000 or even rtx 4000 there's going to be a massive amount of gpus we're talking about everything from you know 3070s 3060s up to 3090s 3080ti's even amd gpus you're going to see a lot of them on the second hand market and likely because of the amount of gpus the prices are going to tumble really to historically low levels that we've never seen even to low levels where people won't care if they were mined on or not because they're going to be so cheap if you can pick up a 3090 for example Example, right now you can find a 3090 used maybe for 800 to 900 dollars i've seen it that low if you go on you know secondhand markets and things like that if this massive gpu crash happens who's to say it's not going to go down to 700 600 it's going to go down considerably less therefore pushing down all of the prices of everything else the 3060 ti and 3070 have been very stubborn with their msrp prices at least on new retail pricing they have not gone down nearly as much as something like a 3090 or a 3090 it makes sense those have a lot more space the higher end gpus do a lot more space to come down while the 3060 ti 3070 they are already a little bit cheaper and of course it's something more people can buy so it's probably more of a competitive market for them because people feel like it's more attainable and they're going to risk less with the depreciation curve but if the high end gpus like the 3090 3080 ti start to go down even more in price and then you add sort of the second element to this aside from that crash if nvidia does announce and or release an rtx 4000 even if it's a 4090 just the announcement of that gpu is going to cause rtx 3000 prices to go down even more of course it's going to have much better performance in many cases it's going to be the new shiny gpu they could even paper launch it and it would probably destroy the resale value of you know 3090s and 3080 ti's if it hasn't been completely destroyed already so that's going to be two major things to look at now i think the primary thing is really going to be ethereum changing from proof of work to proof of stake because that's going to be the glut of the gpus that are going to enter the second hand market that's going to be the biggest biggest factor rtx 4000 releasing i mean that's a little more predictable that's something that you always assume will happen um, when a new generation comes out you know the previous generation automatically does go down in price doesn't mean it's going to be completely devalued but it takes you know a pretty significant price chop depending how good the performance is of the new generation of course it's not 
not been like that the last few years just because everything was in high demand. Look at the 2080 Ti. It was supposed to go down when the 3070 came out, but all of a sudden, because of all the availability issues, 2080 Ti stayed very highly priced, pretty much close to the, its MSRP during the last two years, basically the entire time. While it's possible something similar could happen if something changes and something else becomes extremely profitable, I think that most likely if Ethereum does go away, you're just going to have the biggest GPU market crash that we've ever seen. And it's probably not even going to take into account RTX 4000, that effect. Of course, that's going to add on to it. If RTX 4000 comes out, not only are people going to be much more hesitant to buy it, if you can get an extremely cheap 3090 Ti, why are you going to pay a really high retail price for something like a 4090? Even if it's a considerable performance bump, you know that Nvidia is not dropping those prices anytime soon. They probably want to release a 4090 at least at the MSRP of the 3090. And if, you know, the 3090 Ti is any indication, I bet you they would prefer to release a 4090 at like 1999 since it is the new generation GPU. And that does seem to be like the pricing structure that they would want to go for. But what they want to go for and what the market will actually want to do will be two completely different things. And all of it is going to pretty much revolve around this change that's going to happen in the middle of September. If it gets delayed, then that's going to stabilize GPU prices probably to where they are right now. RTX 4000 will come in, have that regular effect. Nothing too crazy will happen. But if that merge of Ethereum is not delayed and it does disappear, you're going to have thousands upon thousands of GPUs entering the secondhand market, tanking the price of every single RTX 3000 GPU, not to mention stuff like RTX, you know, the 20 series and the 10 series. That's going to go down really, really hard probably to the prices that they should have been, if not lower, like you're not going to see expensive 1080 Ti's like you did before. Those prices are going to go down a considerable amount because you're going to be able to pick up 3060s and 3070s for an extremely affordable price. And people are probably not even going to care about RTX 4000 at that point because Nvidia will probably have to paper launch it and release it very, very little because after all, who's going to buy a new generation that's really expensive aside from a few enthusiasts and people that want to upgrade to something new when you have a massive choice on the market of you know much much cheaper gpus i'm sure that you guys can see everything else that's going on in the market now i mean look at nvidia their you know quarter earnings everything was really really low they even had to you know do a preview because it was going to be shockingly low compared to what they were a few quarters ago and that's not only tied to the general economy that's also very deeply tied to ethereum and what's going to happen there it's no coincidence that the ethereum price and the profitability often accompany the price and availability of GPUs. We've seen these graphs together ever since, you know, the really this craze kind of started a few years ago. So it's going to be no different now. And instead of it going up, we're about to see probably what is the biggest GPU market crash that we've ever seen, unless something changes last minute. It looks like we're heading that way. So I would say don't buy anything now. Wait at least a few more weeks until the middle of September, because then you're going to have your choice of probably knowing if RTX 4000 is going to be released soon and a massive amount of GPUs on the secondhand market that are going to be considerably cheaper than they are today. So I would say continue to wait. I really don't think it's going to be any more expensive then. Of course, things can be surprising and change and within a moment's notice if they delay something with the merge or something like that. But overall, I do think prices will continue to go down. So better to wait, see what happens, because if the GPU market does crash, it looks like it might be a pretty significant one. So you probably will want to wait and see if you can take advantage of a cheaper GPU when that finally happens. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.